In this video we are going to review my downhill frame and this is the Karamoto's TR55. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. A few months ago I started doing downhill. I didn't really start doing downhill just a few months ago because like I remember like 98 or something like that I was the Portuguese downhill champion basically back then they organized these these race in Cascais, Portugal close to Lisbon and back then I used to to race on speed skates and I ended up winning that and I was claimed national champion but not really you know there wasn't really a scene on downhill skating in Portugal in Lisbon so that doesn't really matter what does matter is this and these this is probably the best downhill frame in the market right now and you might be wondering why does a downhill frame has five wheels one two three four five as you can see here why does a downhill frame has five wheels so you want the frame to be long so that it's stable and then why are the wheels this size? Why aren't they bigger? Because there's companies doing 125 millimeter frames, including Katamoto's and Power Slide, which is the frames that I use the whole time. So when you use 125, obviously it needs a lot more space. So if you would do like a five 125, it wouldn't even fit here in the screen. <laughs> when you have 590, it has like the optimal distance, which is on this frame, 14.3 that's what it says here on top the website says 16.6 .6. if you go to Karamoto's if you look for the TR55 it says there 15.6 inches it's not right might be just a, a mistake on that anyway 14.3 it's already long but because it's low you still have control when I mean low it's like a 90 millimeters there are some frames out there which are five times 80 including the frame that I had before so before using these I was using a Mogema 5 times 80 and that Mogema 5 times 80 was also a little bit shorter and lower to the ground I really wanted to try a frame with a little bit bigger wheels like 90 and the truth is I feel a huge difference from 80 to 90 I really feel like faster and I feel like I have a little bit more space if I bend my boot it's going to be harder for the, for the boot to touch the ground and that gives me more control. But then, obviously, longer means more stable, which is cool to go fast. If I'm going to go really fast, it's really cool, but then if I want to turn, it's harder. It takes time to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it's just cool. Having five wheels will also allow you to have more grip which when you have a tight turn if you're going at full speed it's good but at the same time if you want to do some slides well you can trust a little bit more you can just lean back while sliding because you know there's going to be more grip than if you're using three wheels i do believe that three times 125 or four times 110 could be ideal for full speed skating like yes it's a little bit higher it's a little bit less stable but because the wheels are bigger you can go like faster it's gonna take a little bit longer to get to that speed but I, I think you can get go actually faster than on 90s and I do know that some of the downhill skaters prefer to use 84s instead of 90s I haven't tried 84s but I don't feel like I need it at the moment my setup is this TR55 with this boot, which is the Power Slide Artcore Evo 2, which is perfect. The Artcore Evo boot came from a speed skate, and from what I know, Power Slide was the first brand to make a free skate with carbon, basically with the same technology as a speed skate. This is amazing. On this, it's even better. And with these, which are undercover 90 millimeters. I have the five here. 90 millimeters, 86 say. I couldn't ask for a better downhill setup. But now let's go on the details about this. So on the TR55, the main difference from the TR55, which is the newest version of Katamoto's downhill frame, 
to the old version which was called the M55. It was done by Mogema. Mogema was the previous name for car motors. The M55 was a little bit higher in front. I do think it was higher because there was like a window here. There was a hole just like this here in the front. On this one you don't have that hole but the frame is lower and because the frame is lower you lost the 195 mount. Basically there's only a 165 mount. One hole here, one hole here and you can use these in boots such as the Artcore Evo that I just showed you or the, the Power Slide Imperial or every other 165 mount. I would like to have this frame with a 195 mount so that way I could mount it on my marathon skates which is also carbon but because it's like this it's also lower and you see here here that's where the wheel goes and the wheel can sit closer to the boot lower to the ground will mean more stability more stability more control that's one new feature on these. Then Kata Motors is known for the dual box and the dual box it's this thing that you can see here on the side basically the inside wall of this frame is flat and the outside wall it's bent. This little thing will give the frame a lot more strength a lot more stability and you need that in such a long frame. When the frame is this long you need the frame to be stiff especially if you're gonna deal with this frame if you're gonna use it in high speeds. I also believe that this hole, maybe it's just me, I also believe that this little hole that goes across the frame, the one that I just showed you, will also help you with stability. If the wind goes inside, goes through, I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe it's just in my head. <laughs> ah, something really important too about this frame is the axles, they use a Torx tool. Basically, they are not the regular Allen key, the hexagonal thing. It's a little star, so it's just like every other power slide skate, even if this is another brand. Yes, I do work with power slide and Kato Motors gave me this frame. I'm not being paid to do this. But the truth is with this Torx tool, you're never scared to tight it or to lose it because you know it's not gonna strip. And this is really important when you're gonna deal with such high speeds again, because if you break a bearing or something like that, the wheels are going to get really, really hot. So it would be really easy for all these to get welded because you don't want that to get welded, then this helps. And you'll never have problems with this. At least I never had. And what else? Would I want to see something different in this frame? Well, I would love to see these as a Trinity because I know that this boot, which is my favorite boot for this type of skating, it's coming in Trinity soon. And if I could use that boot with this frame Trinity, which is two holes in front and one hole in the back, that would be my dream skate. But for now, I got my dream skate. And my dream skate is this one. See? Right here. So let me show you some footage of me using these bad boys. Enjoy. Now that you saw me using these on the terrain that they're done for, which is downhill, would you like to see me using these on a bowl? I have a new bowl outside and I've been thinking of taking these outside for a bowl session. I do know that this is not a skate for ramps or tricks or anything like that, but because they're so long, I'm not going to be able to grind or anything like that, but I, I'm going to have a lot of control doing slides. I think so, I haven't tried it yet. So if you want to see these, maybe subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel right now and if you click on that bell button, you'll get a notification when I upload that video. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give me some thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me some thumbs down. But let me know why you're giving me thumbs down. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. 
Was it because my wheels are like too pointy? I'm sorry, I've been turning them just because of the slides. <laughs> and now let's finish these the same way that I always do. Let's just not forget why we all started skating because it's fun. Cheers guys, see you soon.